It's the last day of the Shangri-La Dialogue in Singapore, billed as Asia's premier security event. High-ranking defensive ministers, including from China and the United States, are present. The Chinese Minister of National Defense, Wei Fenghe, addressed the forum this morning. Let's find out more from our correspondent, Miro Lu, who's in Singapore. Morning, Miro. So walk us through the key points from Wei and also other highlights so far. Hello, Zhao Yang. Yes, this morning it was definitely China focused. General Wei Fenghe started his speech with a message of friendship, peace, and stability. He acknowledged that we are facing historical changes, citing the pandemic and the Ukraine Russia crisis. He said China wants to work with all countries in peacekeeping, fighting COVID, and its economic recovery after. China also wants to uphold rule of law and justice. He said we should reach out to each other and work each other. Now, seven Ten minutes into the speech, he started his rebuttal against the U.S. Secretary of Defense speech yesterday. He said, I strongly disagree with the U.S. accusation. We should oppose division. We are all in the same boat. We must say no to exclusive groups forming parallel systems would only divide the world. Now, that's targeting the U.S. quads uh, and the ARCOS as well as the Indo-Pacific strategy. He said that China uphold fairness and justice. Countries small and big are equals. They, we reject, reject zero-sum games where the winner takes it all. Instead of being dictated by any country or a group of countries, Asian Pacific countries should decide their own fate. He pointed out the Indo-Pacific strategy to build a small group and to hijack our region and to target one country, implying China. It creates confrontation. Later on, he said that China, uh, he listed out the China's government and military's achievement in upholding regional peace and stability and their contribution in the UN peacekeeping missions. He then spent a good chunk of time to talk about China's core interests. The first one, he talked about Taiwan. He said China will definitely achieve reunification. It is a historic trend that no one can stop. Peaceful reunification is the utmost wish by China. He also said that if anyone is trying to separate China, Taiwan from China, we will fight at all costs and will fight till the end. This is the only choice for China. He also mentioned that foreign interference will not win. He said, stop playing the Taiwan card. China formally warns separatists pursuing Taiwan independence is a dead end. Pretty strong wording there. He also talked about South China Sea. Basically, he said, we will rely on ourselves to resolve the issues. Uh, we will rely on ourselves to protect the South China Sea. China respects freedom of navigation. In fact, the freedom of navigation uh, works its best interest for China. He also uh, talked about uh, the neighbors upholding carbon and long-term interests and should properly working on their differences. The third core interest, he also mentioned the China-U.S. relationship, which is the hot topic during this year's Shangri-La Dialogue. He said that this relationship is at a critical and crucial junction, and cooperation is vital for global development. He acknowledged that confrontation will hurt both countries and all other countries. It will be a strategic mistake. He said that the U.S. should stop smear and contain China, stop meddling with domestic issues, and don't treat China as a threat and don't harm China's core interests. He also had a few strong wording, which he uh, said back in 2019, very similar, which is, if you want to talk, let's talk with respect. If you want to cooperate, let's pursue a win-win solution. If you want to fight, we will fight till the end. Lastly, he also commented on about the Ukraine situation. He said China is deeply saddened by the situation in Ukraine, uh, but, he, uh, but he said he believes that... Uh, uh, sanctions do not work, and he said China is working uh, uh, hard to try to find a peaceful solution. Xiao Yang. A lot of takeaways there. Thank you so much, Miru Lu in Singapore. We'll check in with you again later.